Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please take your seats, the show is about to begin. Oh, my fair Juliet. Oh, no, Romeo. What do we do now? Just bow, just bow. Theater has been around since the Greeks first put on a mask and Shakespeare first picked up a pen. Back then, theater was a very major event in society. Today, acting lives on through cinema and other outlets like it. And in today's society especially, big theaters like Broadway make headlines and news nearly every day because of the fantastic plays that they put on. But while we may enjoy watching the actors perform, a lot of the other work put into a production is overlooked. What we see on stage, the acting, the comedy, the drama, is only the tip of the iceberg. A lot of work goes into a play, and a lot of it happens behind the curtain. So, to show just how much work really goes into the production of a play, I went behind the curtain myself. I recorded the work of a local acting troupe in Perryville, Missouri the Silver Dagger Players, and their journey through the production of their spring 2014 play, The Mouse That Roared. We started off talking about where every play begins, the casting process. Well, I usually try to figure out whose schedule is most clear, who's the most reliable. I go by past experience. If it's somebody who's shown up late a lot of times, or not gotten, if I've given 10 lines and they can't learn their 10 lines for the last play, then I know they're not going to be reliable enough to do a big part. So I kind of have to remember who was good at what things and who takes directions well. And for the main parts, you, almost, you have to have a leader, somebody who the rest of the cast is going to respect and so that they follow them. So a lot of stuff goes into that. Uh, I've been in, what was the play we just did? The Mouse That Roared, and I've been in A Christmas Carol. I joined STP because a bunch of friends convinced me that, hey, you should be in the next play. And I was like, all right, it's my senior year. I have nothing better to do. Let's do it. Well, uh, in my high school career, I guess I would say I've been in six plays. Uh, my freshman year, I was in Jane Austen's Emma and also A Midsummer Night's Dream. I played M Mr. Elton in Emma and Aegeus in Midsummer. Then the, in my sophomore year, I was in, it was wait, Tom Sawyer. Yeah, it was Tom Sawyer and uh, that year it was a musical. We did Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. And then for my junior year, we did um, Night of the Living Dead, which was really fun. And I was Tom in that. And then my, and then spring, we did, we just recently did The Mouse That Roared, and I was totally in that one. So I joined SCP because I've always really enjoyed acting, and uh, I was a little nervous about it at first, but it was a. Uh, once I went to the tryouts, I knew that it was for me. Uh, it was a, a fun experience getting to meet JBC and meet lots of new people. And uh, it was really just a fun way to escape, I guess. Uh. For a few days, the students wait in agony as the cast list is being prepared by JBC. But once she's reached her final verdict on who she wants to be who, the cast list is put up and everyone rushes to see what part that they got. Uh, before and after the cast list, well, uh, tryouts are always really nerve-wracking, so before the cast list goes up, um, generally everybody has an idea of what they want to be, I guess, and so uh, I haven't been casted for a bad part yet, and uh, I know it, I, I guess I know that JVC won't let me down, <laughs> so I, I guess I'm really happy whatever she puts me as because it's, uh, I know she's doing it for the best. Um, before it was put up, I was like, I'm a senior, this is my only play, I don't really know if I'm going to get chosen for it, and then after it was put up, I was like, well, it's not that big of a part, but a part's a part, and I'm happy to be in it. Once the cast list is put up and everyone knows their roles, the actors begin the process of practicing for the show. While this is going on, the director, JBC, decides how she wants the set to look, and the process that is known as crew begins. Well, um... I'm pretty, I really like thrust stages when they go out into the audience. Um, I can't do that for every show, so I try to figure out how many people I'm going to have on stage, how the scene changes are going to happen, um, whether we are going to have to have quick changes or not. If we have a lot of quick changes, typically I put a thrust out there so we can, it won't take up as much time because I really hate long scene changes. Mm -hmm. 
All the sets for the plays that STP puts on are built by students. For two hours on Wednesday evenings of the month before the play, students can report to the old senior high school where the plays are performed and help out with building pieces of the set. While the set may take a while to completely finish, the actors themselves cannot rest. The actors attend play practice on weekday nights, spending around three hours per night practicing. Well, play practice is a really fun experience. I mean, um, over those three months that we're preparing for the show, you get to go there. You, and especially right when the play first starts, it's just a great time because you're getting to meet people you didn't know, getting to learn how they act and see them just be silly, I guess. It's really fun. Um, like in the play we recently did, getting to see uh, Joe's character was great. Uh, the mad scientist thing was really fun. And um, I think it's just a really fun way to relax, a great learning experience for everyone. I enjoyed the fact that I got to see my friends out of school and that for three hours I was only busy for about the hour. <laughs> but something is different about SDP. If you asked any of the people involved in the plays, they'll all tell you something similar. That the Silver Dagger players are more like a family than just a group of actors. I love how kids, especially new people, they don't know what it's going to be like going into it and they're kind of hesitant and then by the end of the show they're like addicted and they want to do it more. And I love seeing people, especially shy people, their confidence level gets better every time and they just, it changes their personality and makes them a stronger, more confident person. Um, SCP is a lot more serious and they have their stuff together more than just like a club or a group that does it. Their acting groups. Well, SDP, um, first off, it's smaller than probably most acting groups are. Over the recent years, we've actually accumulated quite a few people. Um, I'd say that it sets it apart because we're, we're a family, I guess a lot of people, you go to something like that and not everyone's friends or doesn't like each other and I feel like this is way different than that. Like it's, it's more, I guess we're just a closer group. But a play is not all just fun and games. Near the end of the production, tensions begin to rise as the dates of the show grow closer. And sometimes, stress can overtake an actor. The most stressful is I can do a lot of stuff for people on stage, but I cannot learn their lines for them. So that is always the worst thing. When I have people who I tell to get their off the book for two weeks, three weeks, and it's still opening day, they still don't know their lines, I can't help them anymore because I've tried and it's up to them to learn the lines. So that's the worst part. Once the show has been put on for all three of its show dates, everyone involved in the production, and even some parents, help in the process of strike. Strike is the oh-so-bittersweet process of taking apart the set. Watching everything that you built go down is a difficult process, and it is the last thing that SDP members do until their next production begins. Uh, the thing I always miss most, I guess, would probably, probably be, uh, getting to see all those friends in a, in a setting that's not school because usually you're always working or having something to worry about but that's what's fun about STP is getting to go there and just be able to hang out with friends and uh, but when they well, I guess that makes it sound like it's not work but STP is for sure work <laughs> but uh, it is just a great relaxing place and that's probably what I'll miss the most is getting to see everyone getting to see JVC probably gonna miss the fact that like even though we rehearse rehearse lines or whatever whenever you get the play experience nobody really knows their like, you've realized nobody ever really knows their lines so then people just kind of make up their lines on the spot and it's like a really unique experience to see what they make up a lot more work goes into the production of a play than most people think actors and crew members here and the silver dagger players pour their heart and soul into every production that they put on and I know that I'm going to miss it more than anyone could ever know. Okay. If you could say anything to future aspiring actors of SDP, what would it be? Um, don't be afraid to try new things and let yourself have fun.